Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to turn a cheap plastic Christmas tree into an interactive musical instrument that lets you create songs just by touching the top of each Christmas bulb. Basically, the wire connected to each bulb is actually a capacitive touch sensor that plays a different note whenever someone touches it. Here, let me show you how it works. Pretty neat, right? It also supports multiple touch events at the same time, which means you can harmonize as well. So, how was it made? Well, first you need the tree. Any small decorative tree should work. You'll want a sturdy one with a solid base to hold the weight of the bulbs and wires though. And you'll probably want some lights. I'm just using one of these tiny battery-powered LED strands because your standard Christmas tree lights will probably be too heavy for this size tree. It looks pretty good already. Then you'll also need some Christmas bulbs. I recommend the tiny plastic ones so if they fall off they don't shatter. And you'll need some insulated wire. Green is probably best so it'll blend into the tree a bit. And then the most important part the bare conductive pie cap, and a raspberry pie. I'll go over this in more detail here shortly, but for now just know that this is what will handle all of the capacitive touch sensing. Now we need to strip some wire. Each segment of wire will have one end stripped down pretty far because that will be the main touch surface and it'll also be used to attach the bulbs. Like this. Then I'm just wrapping each wire around a different branch with the stripped end sticking out and running the rest of the wire down to the trunk so it can connect to the pie cap. This part can get a bit messy, so try to keep all of the wires grouped together at the end. Once you're done with all of that, you'll have this big bundle of wires that you can snip at the end to be more uniform in length. Then just strip off the ends of those and attach each one to the electrode pads on the pie cap. You don't really need to worry about the order here since you can reconfigure all of that in software later. Then you can go ahead and attach the bulbs to those stripped wire ends by just wrapping the wire around like a hook. At this point, the hardware is basically done. Now, about that bare conductive pie cap. This is a hat for the Raspberry Pi, so you can just snap it into the GPIO pins, and then with a little bit of code, you'll be able to detect touch events on all 12 of these little electrode pads that the wires are connected to. If you don't want to use a Raspberry Pi, you could also use the bare conductive touch board, which is basically an Arduino. It's got the same pin configuration, and then it also has all of these touch electrodes just like the pie cap. Either one will work for this, but I'll be using the pie cap. So now we need to handle the code side of things. Luckily, bare conductive has a bunch of examples on their GitHub account, and one of them is already set up to play a different MP3 file whenever a touch event happens, which means the code is basically written for us. To make moving things onto the Pi easier, I'm just going to fork their project so I can add my audio files directly to the GitHub repo and then clone it all from the Pi. Then to make each note, I found a reference note online and used an open source program called Audacity which has a feature that lets you change the pitch. So I created all 12 notes using that. Next I committed all of those changes to my fork of the code and then cloned it all from the Pi. Now I can go in and run the code. This will convert all of those MP3 files into WAV files, and then it's all ready to go. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.